So after discovering the presence of a nucleus of about 10 to the minus 15 meters inside an atom of 10 to the minus 10 meters, Rutherford went on to find that there are actually two different particles inside the nucleus, which are called the nucleons. Uh, and these are the protons, which have a positive charge of plus 1e, and the neutrons, which have zero charge, they are neutron. And that brings us to the nuclide notation. How do we indicate a specific type of nucleus uniquely? Also known as the AZ notation, as seen here. So as an example here, we've got 4, 2, helium. First of all, the symbols, in this case HE, they designate the name of the element. So helium in this case. Uh, specific to the element is also the atomic number, also known as the charge number or the proton number. All helium nuclei have an atomic number of two. They have two protons in the nucleus. And then there is the mass number, otherwise known as the nucleon number. It gives the approximate mass of the nucleus. So the mass here is approximately four times the mass of a proton. Um, and it's also the total number of nucleons. So in this case, there are two protons and two neutrons for a total mass number of four. So helium-4 has two protons and two neutrons. So this allows us to find for any uh, given nuclide what it is. So here we see the proton number is 92, from which we know is uranium. Since the mass number is 235, we can deduce that it has 143 neutrons. So this is the notation for uranium-235, which has 92 protons and 143 neutrons in its nucleus. And this gives us the building blocks that we need for our matter in H2 physics. So something with a zero charge but a mass number of one is a neutron. Mass number one and a charge of one is a proton. Mass number of zero and a charge of minus one is an electron. And we also have something with a mass of a zero but a charge of plus one, and that's called a positron. So it's basically the same as an electron, same mass, but oppositely charged. And if you haven't seen it before, we'll learn more about it in our radioactivity coming on later. So uh, you may know this from chemistry. So we have different atoms. All of these have atom number six. So they're all carbon, but they have different mass numbers, 11, 12, 13, or 14. So these four nuclides, they're all different isotopes of carbon. So they all have six protons, but they have five, six, seven, or eight neutrons in their nucleus. So they are isotopes of the same element, so they undergo the same chemistry. So in this example, all these carbon isotopes may react with oxygen to form a carbon dioxide. However, the different isotopes will show different types of physics. Um, obviously, if they undergo the same force, then uh, carbon-11 will get deflected more than carbon-14. Specific to our chapter on nuclear physics, we have radioactivity. So carbon-11 and carbon-14 are radioactive. They may decay to form other nuclei whereas carbon-12 and carbon-13 are stable. They don't change, they will not decay. So lots of terminology. Um, we have one nucleus, or sorry, we have one nucleus. The plural is nuclei, so we see here 12 different nuclei. Then inside one nucleus, there may be more than one nucleon. These are the protons and neutrons inside uh, nucleus, and a nuclide is a specific type of nucleus. So for instance, here we have the nuclide of hydrogen, hydrogen 1, mass number 1, charge number 1. If we add a neutron, we get the nuclide of hydrogen 2, mass number 2, and charge number 1. Add another neutron, and we have another isotope of hydrogen, hydrogen 3 is mass number three 
and charge number one. So these three are the three most common isotopes of hydrogen. And they're indicated in their nucleide notation. And they are hydrogen one, hydrogen two, and hydrogen three. Lastly, for this clip, um, we indicate a new unit of mass, which is called the Unified Atomic Mass Unit. So it can be used in principle the same way as we use kilograms. However, since the particles and nuclei are so small, we want another unit that is more useful for this. So that's the Unified Atomic Mass Unit. And 1U is 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And that funny number comes about as one twelfth of the mass of the carbon-12 atom.